Hi, I'm Pete from Jamie's Food Team, and today I'm going to show you how to bone and butterfly a leg of lamb. Now this is the lamb the way it came from the butchers. Get rid of the paper. I've got a nice chopping board here with a cloth under it so that it won't move about, which is really important when you start chopping it because you want the board to stay in one place so that you don't cut yourself. Now the end of this here, I'm just going to take off. There's sometimes another bone on here called the H bone. That's been taken off today, but um, if it's there, you can ask your butcher to take that off for you. You can actually ask your butcher to do this whole thing for you if you like, but uh, if you want to have a go yourself, it's really not that difficult. This is the leg. There's only really two bones in here. The bone goes from here to here, and there's a knuckle in the middle like that, which is the lamb's knee. So the bone goes up like that and like that. So really what we'll do is just cut into the lamb and excavate the bone, take it out, and then we'll have the meat boneless, ready to butterfly. So the best knife to do this with is a boning knife. This is the way it looks. Not everyone has this knife at home. It's specially shaped to help you cut meat. It's really rigid, so it's hard to bend, which is great for cutting through meat and scraping against bone. But if you don't have one of those, just a small, sharp knife will do the trick. So that's a paring knife, and it's got a rigid blade, so it doesn't bend very easily. And we're going to have a go with this today. I'm going to make a cut from the knee, which is this bit here, up to the tip of the bone sticking out. So just imagine where the bone will be, and make you cut down to it. Now you can see the knee, and you can see the top of the bone here, so you know where to cut. Open the lamb up like that. And with a couple of cuts, it's quite easy to find the bone. And there it is there, can you see? That's it in there. And really all you do is cut around it. One thing to remember is always keep your fingers behind where you're cutting. Never poke your fingers in and start cutting like that. I know it sounds obvious, but when you get really involved in it and you concentrate on it, it's quite easy to do something stupid. So always keep your hand behind the knife. So if it slips, the worst you're going to do is, is make a cut in the meat, but not your finger. And see, and the more you go, the more you, you cut, the more you expose the bone, until you've got a lot of it open like that, you see? Then you work underneath the bone, free it like this. Okay, and don't worry if it's a bit ragged, you can trim that up later. And you see now the bones start to come out. There you go. Okay, now, next, we start to loosen the meat around the edge. There we go. Takes a couple of tries sometimes before you find the right bit. So as you can see now, you've got the bone here. This bit here is called the shank. We're not going to use this bit of meat today on the grill. It's quite a tough bit of meat and it's, it's actually much better for long, slow cooking. So what I do with this is just cut it off, wrap it up, put it in the fridge and save it for a stew or stewed lamb shanks or something like that. But it's not much use to us today. So. I'll cut it off. And now we've got two bits of meat. This is the main bit of meat we're going to slash and butterfly. And here, here's your two bones. And this is the shank. So, if you find where the join is, quite easy to cut that off. That's it. There you go. This is a nice bone for sticking as a trivet when you're roasting your leg of lamb. I mean, you're not going to roast it this time, but next time it might be great to chuck that in the tray as well. So wrap it up in cling film, put it to one side, put it in the freezer, and you'll be really glad you did next time you roast a leg of lamb. And this is the shank. So you can wrap that in cling film, stick it in the freezer, and once you have three or four of them, you can cook them off with a nice slow lamb shank stew. Delicious. Okay, this is the main piece of meat from the leg of lamb. And you can, you know, you can put it together quite easily. You can see where the bone was, where the shank was. 
And really, all we want to do is open it out and make it stay opened out. If you just put it like this on the grill, when it gets hot, it'll curl up again and it won't cook properly. So if you open it out and then butterfly, it means that when it goes on the grill, it'll stay that shape. And that's what you want. It means it'll cook nice and evenly. So first thing, if you see any big lumps of fat, see like this bit here? You can just, just take that off. I mean, obviously, you don't want to cut all the fat off because fat's actually quite a good thing in meat. Helps it stay moist as it's cooking. It's got great flavour. So don't trim all the fat. Just any big lumps that you see, these bits. Okay. Still a bit of fat on, but that's good. We're going to get rid of these scraps. And here's your leg of lamb. Already it's sitting better. It's laying out a bit better. And it's less likely now to curl up. But the next stage is to make sure that it cooks evenly. It needs to be the same kind of thickness. Because if you look at this bit of lamb now, if you look at it side on, you'll see that this bit's one height, this bit's another height, and this bit's even higher. So there's three different heights here of the lamb. And of course, when you put it on a barbecue, this will be the first bit to be cooked, this will be the second bit to be cooked, and this will be the third bit to be cooked, because it takes so long for the heat to rise through the meat. And that's not ideal, because you want it all really the same, don't you? However you want it cooked, whether it's well done, whether it's medium, whether it's pink, you want it all to be cooked the same. So what we're going to do now is try to make the lamb an even thickness all the way across so that it cooks in the same time. This bit here, this fat lump of meat, is actually the top side. I'm going to cut into that. And open it up like a book. You see? The idea is to do it really evenly in half, so when you open it out, the two sides are the same thickness. Think of it as opening a book at exactly the middle page. Now be careful not to cut all the way through, because you don't want to cut this bit off, you want to keep it attached. The middle bit, slightly higher than that now, so what I'm going to do is make a few slashes in it. It will open out a little bit and end up being the same height as that. And the same to this bit here, it'll squash down a bit and these cuts help, well, it helps marinade penetrate the meat so when, whatever you put on it, whether it's um, garlic or lemon or oil or pepper or spices and herbs, they'll penetrate the meat much better if there's slashes in it and of course when it goes on the grill the heat will penetrate it faster and it'll cook much more evenly. So now the lamb is all basically the same thickness or it's got slashes in the thicker bits to help the heat penetrate and it's all going to cook at the same time. This is what you've got from the inside, from the outside, all one nice piece so it's easy to cook on the barbecue, you're not fiddling around with bits and pieces, all in one piece. And that's how to bone and butterfly a leg of lamb.